Have you ever wondered what are the biggest cars ever made in America? How big are they compared to today's vehicles? And why did Americans love these giant machines so much? In this video, we will take you on a journey through the history of the American automobile industry and show you some of the biggest American cars ever. Let's kick things off with the 1917 Buick Rivera. A car that truly redefined luxury and style in the early 70s. This masterpiece was more than just a vehicle. It was a statement of sophistication and power. Underneath that sleek hood, the Rivera rode with a range of V8 engine options. It boasted impressive horsepower and torque, giving drivers a thrilling experience every time they hit the accelerator. But it wasn't just about performance. Step inside and you are greeted by an interior that's like stepping into a luxury lounge. Premium materials, comfortable seating and advanced features set the tone for a ride. In pop culture, the 1971 Buick Rivera left its mark as well. From appearing in movies to gracing magazine covers, it became an aspirational icon, a car that defined an era of glamour and luxury. The 1969 Dodge Polara was a truly heavyweight in the 1960s. This car measures 220.8 inches in length and 79.3 inches in width. The Polara was available in various body styles, including a four-door sedan, a two-door hardtop, a convertible, and a station wagon. The Polara was popular among police departments for its speed and durability especially the California Highway Patrol, which ordered 1,564 specially modified Polaras in 1969. These cars had additional features such as high output alternators, dual exhaust, oil coolers, and special paint and trim. The Flora also had a cultural impact as a symbol of American power and prestige in the late 1960s. It represented the peak of the muscle car era when size, speed, and style were paramount. It also reflected the confidence and optimism of American society before the oil crisis and environmental concerns of the 1970s. Now, let's set our course for the early 80s and take a closer look at the mighty 1980s Playmates Grand Fury. It was one of the last examples of the traditional full-size American car. It was based on the Chrysler R body platform, which dated back to the 1970s. It had a boxy shape, a spacious interior, and a choice of the two V8 engines. The Grand Fury was not very impressive in terms of performance as it suffered from the effects of the oil crisis and emission regulation that reduced its power output and fuel efficiency. The 380 V8 engine produced 120 horsepower and 240 pound feet of torque, while the 360 V8 engine produced 155 horsepower to 70 pound feet of torque. Popularity wise, the Grand Fury found its place among families, professionals, and those who appreciated a blend of classic charm and modern convenience. Its reputation for reliability and comfort added to its appeal. The Chevrolet Impala is a line of full-size cars that was first introduced in 1958 as a high-end model of the Bel Air. It soon became one of the Chevrolet best-selling cars, offering a variety of body styles, engines, and options. The 15th generation of the Impala was launched in the 1970s and lasted until 1976. It was the largest car ever offered by Chevrolet, with the wheelbase of 121.5 inches and a length of 222.9 inches. It also had a new fuselage design that wrapped around the passengers and gave the car a streamlined look. The 1973 Chevrolet Impala Custom Coupe was the first car to use a black powder cannon to flip a car without using a ramp in a movie. This stunt was performed in the 1974 John Wayne film MCQ, where the Impala was chased and shot by a police helicopter. The 1970 Chevrolet Impala Custom Coupe was one of the best-selling cars in America in its year. It sold over 300,000 units 
accounting for more than half of all Impala sales and about 10% of all Chevrolet sales. It was also popular among celebrities and musicians, such as Elvis Presley who owned several custom coupes in different colors. What do you get when you combine a massive body, a powerful engine, and a luxurious interior? You get the 1976 Ford Thunderbird, one of the largest and most expensive cars ever produced by Ford. The Ford Thunderbird is a line of personal luxury cars that was first introduced in 1955 as a sporty two-seater. It soon evolved into a four-seater and then into a full-size car, offering a variety of body styles, engines, and options. The Thunderbird exterior design was a harmonious blend of sleek lines and bold curves. Its distinctive opera windows, a hallmark of the Santis, added an air of sophistication. The Thunderbird had an available T-top roof option, giving drivers the thrill of open-air driving while maintaining the structural integrity of a coop. The Thunderbird's popularity led to numerous special editions, catering to various tastes and preferences of the era's consumer. While the 76 Thunderbird was celebrated for its size, the oil crisis and shifting consumer preferences eventually led to a downsizing trend in the late 70s. Imagine a car that could go faster than 140 miles per hour in the 1930s. A car that had a supercharged engine, a sleek design, and a luxurious interior. A car that was owned by celebrities, royalty, and millionaires. That car was the Duesenberg Model SJ, one of the most remarkable and rare cars ever made in America. The Duesenberg Model SJ had a two-door or four-door body style with various designs by different coach builders. It had a length of about 222 inches, a width of about 75 inches, and a height of about 60 inches. The Duesenberg Model SJ was one of the most expensive and exclusive car in America in its time. It cost about $20,000, that is equal to $300,000 today which was more than 10 times to average annual income. Only 36 units were made between 1932 and 1937. It was popular among celebrities and wealthy people who wanted to show off their status and taste. The Ford Mustang, often referred to as the Pony Car, made its grand debut on April 17, 1964. Designed to capture the spirit of freedom and individuality, the Mustang quickly became a symbol of the American dream with its sleek design, affordable price tag, and an array of customization options. The Mustang was an instant hit, selling over a million units within the first two years of production. Throughout the years, the Mustang underwent several transformations adapting to changing tastes and technologies from the classic design of the 60s to the sleeker and more aerodynamic shapes of the 80s and 90s. The Mustang remained a symbol of the power and style. Thanks for watching till the end. Like and share with your friends and subscribe Rewind Factory for more videos like this.